hi hi welcome back to my channel if you are just stopping by for the very first time you are welcome here on this channel we do skincare videos and we do reviews on skincare products if you are interested in things like that please subscribe hit the subscription button hit the like button share the video and don't forget to turn in your notification bell so as to be notified each time i upload another video today i'm going to be sharing with you a very fast DIY on how you can make your facial whitening slash lightening soap at home. If you are somebody who doesn't want to go through the whole procedure of cold, cold processed soap, you can just do this and it's very fast and very effective at the same time. And it saves you a lot of coins as well and saves you time. So today we're going to be making rice slash goat milk soap. And this soap is going to be for dark scars, going to clear dark scars, going to lighten your skin. If you are somebody who doesn't like to use harsh chemicals on your skin, yet you want to have a beautiful skin, then this one is for you. Now, this soap is not going to bleach your skin. Get me right. It's not going to bleach your skin, but it's going to tone your skin. It's going to brighten your skin. If you know those Korean ladies, in fact, the ingredients we'll be using here is just one of those ingredients that they use on their skin. The very first ingredient we want for this recipe is our base soap and this is our goat milk soap. I choose, now you can go with the normal glycerin soap base, but I chose to go with goat milk because of the effect, the beautiful ingredients that it contains. It contains lactic acid that is going to help exfoliate your skin and lighten your skin at the same time. Goat milk lightens the skin. And of course, in here I have my rice powder or rice flour. This is also very good in anti-aging. It glows the skin, it removes scars, it removes fine line wrinkles, hyperpigmentations, uneven skin tone, clear, treats acne and pimples, and it's also good for exfoliation. Do your research on these ingredients before you make this soap if you wish to. And yeah, I have tea tree oil, and this is completely optional. You are not obliged to use this. I'm just using this because I want to use this soap on my face. But if you want to use this soap just on your skin and you don't have any acne or pimples on your skin, make use of just the rice flour and the melting pot. Now I'm making this soap very basic so everybody can be able to do it. So in here I have 150 grams of good, good milk soap base. And in here I have 30 grams of rice powder. I will be double boiling this to, in order to dissolve the soap and I will see you back in a moment. Okay, we have melted our soap. And if you do not want to go through the stress of using the microwave, the sorry, double boiling method, you can just go ahead and pop in your soap base into your microwave and just heat it up for about 30 minutes, bring it out, check if it's not well dissolved, if it's dissolved fine. If not, you will just put it again for the next 15 to 30 seconds again. I said 30 seconds the first time, 30 seconds the second time. If not well dissolved, just put an eye on it and that will be fine. So this is it, it's well dissolved and this is what we have. And I'll go ahead and add in my rice powder. This is my rice powder. And you have to, when you're doing this soap, you have to work very fast because the moment the soap cools down, then it, it basically you already had your soap by, you, it wouldn't be easy to add the ingredients. So I just went ahead and added my rice powder or rice flour, that flour, however you choose to call it. And then I will be adding in some glycerin. Sorry, I didn't show you from the beginning. This is my glycerin. I'm adding just about half a teaspoon of glycerin just for moisture for emollient yeah so make sure you mix very well because you might have lumps of rice flour in your mixture so you want to make sure you've incorporated the rice flour or rice powder very well into the soup so you don't have lumps lumps and now i'll go ahead and add in just about five drops of tea tree oil now you can go in with any essential oil of your choice. Two, three, yeah, I think it's a bit more than five, sorry. And I'm mixing that very well. I'm mixing that very well. And the next thing you want to do now is to, you need a mold for this, for this soap. This is my soap mold. I went ahead and I cleaned my mold and I sprayed it with some, with some alcohol and, um, 
let it sit let it dry out because we don't want alcohol into our soap in our soap and now i'll be pouring it into the mold now in here i have this is optional again this is hibiscus flower this is very good for anti-aging it fights dark scars as well it will help boost your collagen production so i'll just be adding a few leaves of of um, hibiscus flour into my mold before pouring my soap just for just to get the benefits and of course so that's what we are doing okay i think that's the first bar mm -hmm. now when you pour your soap if you find out that you got some some foams on top of your soap you just go ahead and spray some a few drops of alcohol or even water is going to do the trick as well a lot of people say alcohol but i've worked with water and i got the same result just so you don't let you don't give room for bacteria to grow that's why we just spray it so we can get rid of the the foam so that's it so it was already melting you can see that's how fast this thing was so that is it and i would be letting this sit for i will be letting this sit for about six hours or four hours however i just will keep an eye on it until i'm spraying alcohol on this now yeah so i'm going to let this sit for as long as it's going to sit for it to to, to solidify normally it can take take about two hours or so some take 30 minutes i don't know depending on whatever i'm just going to let this sit you can if you want to 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 hasten this process you can let it sit in your fridge and we'll be back so guys this is our soap i left it i had to just put it in the fridge because i didn't want to wait i didn't have that time so i left it in the fridge not freezer fridge for about 45 minutes and actually after 30 minutes it was really strong just i just left it there for so we're going to be unmolding the soap right now voila this is our soap here we go we've got a beautiful soap bar here what you see here is the um, hibiscus flour that i put inside just looking at it under it gives it a very beautiful color very beautiful and just gonna be putting it there it's very hard it's not going to become soft it is very hard trust me and you can use this on your face to soap you can use it on your skin you can use it on your skin you can use it on your face so this is it this is our so we are on molding our soap look at how beautiful and lovely this is look at it look at that look at that look at the traces of the to the hibiscus so this is it this is it this is our soap it's so so beautiful and that was it for this video guys if you enjoy it please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so yet and let me know if you have any questions, just leave them in the description box, box and I'll be there to give you responses. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Stay blessed.